Thank you. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Today, we are going to take a flight around the country at supersonic speeds. We're going to start in the south, then go to New England, then fly across the country to Seattle, down to California, and then back to Arizona. My life started in the south in a town called Lakeview, Georgia. Now, I never saw the lake the whole time that I lived there, but I'm sure it's there somewhere. I lived in a house that was built by my grandfather. My mother and father were never graduated from high school, but they were the hardest workers I ever knew. Now, my mom told me that I was a mistake. Jay, you and my mom could have been best buddies. <laughs> <laughs> because after I started having children, she let that go. I didn't like school. It was really boring to me. So I graduated high school when I was 16. I got out of high school, and the only thing I could remember my guidance counselor in high school telling me is to never learn how to type, because if I learned how to type, I would be a secretary my entire life. What's a secretary? So I didn't learn how to type. I got out of high school and my mom found a job for me as an assistant teacher at a, in a Down syndrome class, which was great. But at 17, 18 years old, that really wasn't my thing. My thing was more dating and finding a good looking guy, which I did. <laughs> and married him immediately. And 13 months later, I had my first child, Christian, <laughs> a daughter. And 13 months after that, I had uh, my second child, a son named Joseph Paul. And 16 months later after that, I had my third child, which is Matthew. I remember my pastor coming to see me at the hospital and asking, are you going to have all 12 disciples? <laughs> I did stop after Matthew. <laughs> but that was great. It was a lovely time having three children under two and a half years old, being in my 20s, early 20s myself. It was just like a big party. Then my husband decided that really having a wife with three children really wasn't his thing. So he decided to leave, which was fine. But I was left as a single mom with three children. Like, what do I do? So I decided to go to college, right? My mom said, you should be a teacher. Because you have children, you'll be off during the summer. Sounded like a plan to me. So I went to college. I graduated four years of college in two and a half years. I didn't have any time to waste. <laughs> My degree is actually in gifted and talented education. I started teaching after that, and it was fun. It was fine, but um, with three children, I really needed to earn more money. I had two jobs. I taught aerobics at an insurance company. And they said, why don't you come work here? I'm like, I don't even know what you guys do. And they said, are you good at math? I said, yeah, I was good at math. So back then, you had to take a math test to become an underwriter in an insurance company. No computers. I know that's hard for you to believe. No computers. But I did pass the math test and was hired as an underwriter. I was given a calculator, a rate sheet, and a number two pencil. And I loved it. it. Was great and really fulfilling. But I'm still in my early 20s, and I'm still thinking, I think I want a husband. <laughs> I remember that guy that I worked with. It says, Deborah, if you find a guy that wants to marry you with three young children, you better take him up on it. So I did, and that's where the adventure began. He was a maniac. He's from Maine. <laughs> so we got in our plane and took off. The first stop was New Jersey. 
from Tennessee to New Jersey. It was a real eye-opener. It was a whole new world. The kids were amazed. My youngest son's second grade teacher, the first thing she did was send him to special education, get tested. And he came home, he's like, Mom, I don't understand a thing that she's saying. Because, of course, only people in the, in the South have an accent. No one in New England has an accent, right? And our life went on. My husband was a real go-getter, climbing the corporate ladder. He started working for Nike, but that's when all of the apparel manufacturers in the South closed down. So he began traveling overseas, a lot to China, India, all kinds of countries making clothes, making Nike clothes. We then went to Seattle for a new opportunity. So we packed up and moved to Seattle. And of course he left for a business trip the day after we got there. So I loaded the kids in the car and got our Rand McNally map book you know, pre-GPS, right? And we're looking at the map and I got so lost because I was used to the ocean being this way. And now the ocean is that way. We spent hours, I'm amazed to this day that we even made it back to the house. That was a wonderful adventure too. But again, another opportunity for my husband came along and we went to Southern California now that was really different, but very exciting. We lived in Newport Beach. You've seen the beaches and all of the opulence, but that unfortunately a kid, he decided that people in other countries were more his thing. So he left and that's when really it became the time of my life. I could control my life and move where I wanted to move. So I chose Arizona. I loved Arizona because I could see the sun every day. So my plane is now parked in Arizona, but it's ready to go whenever I get ready for a new adventure. Thank you.